Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. I'll be honest, I've already filmed this video once, and when I got it back onto my computer, realized I had no audio. My microphone is being held together by hot glue and uh, tape, so um, it somehow got unplugged, and I didn't have any audio for the whole video I recorded. So this is take number two, but welcome back, everyone. Um, it's a chilly one out today, and I've actually got the majority of the chores done. But I do still need to give my calves some hay, which calves are left, which is what I'll be talking about today. And I also need to give them some grain this evening, right before dark. So let's pick up a bale of hay and get these calves fed. like they're almost out of hay so I came came at the right time I should probably put this in park before I get out.
You know, the title of the video said I sold the calves, but you guys saw quite a few calves out here. So that's what I'm here to explain. And I'm staying in the truck right now because it's freezing cold and the wind is pretty bad. So I'm trying to uh, keep the microphone out of the wind. But um, these calves here, which I will show you, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, as you guys saw in the last video I posted about the calves, we were sorting my calves from my dad's. And uh, I picked out, I guess, eight of my smallest ones. And I was planning on keeping those until a later date. So the morning of the sale came and I actually could not make it to watch the calves sell, which was uh, the first time for me. Normally I'm always there to watch. And uh, I just like being there and watching them sell. But the guy that was scheduled to come haul all of the calves, he ended up not having enough room for all 80 some calves. My dad, since he was the one there, he decided to leave all of my heifers here. He sorted all the heifers out. I guess now I'm keeping the heifers for a while. So, um, so I did sell all the bigger steers. I'll have a video on that, how much money I made, how much I lost all that stuff in a separate video. But with that being said, I now have all of my heifers here. And I also have, I guess, seven or eight little steers that I'll be keeping till later this spring. I also have the two Fleck V Jersey cross steers in here as well. They're the ones that look like Jersey calves, but they have a white face. I knew they wouldn't do well at the sale, so I decided to keep them. I'm gonna try to sell those either as finished steers or just private treaty uh, to someone that wants to raise a calf. But so yeah, I've got all of the heifers here. The question is, what do I do with them now? Do I keep these heifers and try to keep them as replacement cows? That I'm not for sure because my first group of half dairy, half beef cows, um, they'll be calving out for the first time here in the next month and a half. I'll have a rough idea of how well they'll do as cows. Um, and that'll give me enough time to find a bull for these girls if I decide to keep them. I will say all of my heifers were bigger than any of my steers that I sold. The main reason for that, I raised all the heifers on bottles. And so they got a little more special treatment than all the steers. The steers I raised uh, mostly on the milk bar. So um, the heifers, they got exactly the milk, the amount of milk they needed. The steers kind of, the biggest one got the most. And so most of the heifers turned out the biggest here. So anyway, I got at least, I think I have 16 heifers out here. Potentially, I may be keeping every single one of these heifers now that they didn't get sold. Um, or another option, if they get big enough to breed, um, I could sell them once again to private tree to someone that wants to uh, breed some heifers and get some dairy in their dairy in their beef herd. But here's one of the Jersey steers, as you can see, half Jersey, half Fleckby. And then this heifer right here, as you can tell, she's a little taller and skinnier. Um, she's actually missing an eye. So her left eye is completely gone. So she wasn't really worth selling because at a sale barn, she would have brought, you know, I don't know if you can see that or not. She would have maybe brought like 60 cents and she only weighs 425 pounds. So she wouldn't have brought much money. So that's why I decided to keep her. Um, let's see, here's the other jersey. Actually, I need the one I just showed you. There's the other jersey. And then, like this one here, here's a little, little black steer. Um, once again, I'll keep all these till there's another little black steer. And there's another little black steer. But, actually, I'm gonna hide behind this hay bale since it's a little less windy. Um, they're gonna stick around for a while longer. The original plan was to sell every single calf I had. Uh, but we weren't really for sure what prices we're doing, so I didn't want to sell all the tiny ones and them not bring any money. So, um, so yeah, like I said, I will have another video on how much the other steers brought when I sold them, and I wish I could have had a video of me actually being there and watching them sell, but it just did not work out this time. And as you guys saw, I dropped a bale into this bale feeder. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know I am not a big fan of bale feeders. Uh, cows tend to waste a lot of hay in a bale feeder and uh, it's just a big pain. They'll leave a big muddy mess all around the bale feeder if you get some rain and I just don't like them. However, since there's only 28 calves in here, well no, there's 26 calves in here I think and since they're all about 500 pounds they're not eating a whole lot of hay. It's almost a waste of time to come out here every day and feed them just a little quarter or half a bale of hay. So that's why this bale feeder's in here. We'll have to replace the bale every, I don't know, three or four days. And yeah, it always always gives them something to munch on and so keeps them happy. But 
They're all still getting quite a bit of grain. If I'm gonna breed these heifers, I want them to be in as good as condition as they can be, because uh, the bull would be going in with them here in three or four months now. And so I want them to put on some more weight if I do end up deciding to breed them. That's the story behind all these calves, why I still got them, they just didn't fit on the trailer. So anyway guys, I'm gonna call it a day. There was a lot more footage to this video, but once again, it had no audio. So. Uh, with that being said, I'm calling it a day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new here, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, with that being said, I will see you all next time.